Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. I am very excited to continue our discussion of the optimum time to replace a roller or other key process element. Here, we will show that if you change the roller too early, you will cost your company money. No less important, that is if you change the roller too late, you will also cost your company more money. This time, due to increased waste, delay, and customer complaint. There is only one time that is best to change a roller, and that time in service can be found from economics. Those of you who follow my work will note that I introduced this concept of integrating engineering and business and optimization to several other web handling problems a decade ago. Now, we use these same ideas for roller maintenance scheduling. The easiest concept to introduce is the cost to repair. This could be broken down into parts, such as the cost of downtime, the cost of regrinding a roller, the cost of a major refurbish or replacement of a roller, and how many regrinds can be made before a roller or cover needs replacement. All we do here is add one more element, that is the cost to repair as a function of time and service. So, if the costs to repair are $30,000 and we do so every three weeks, the cost is $10,000 per week. If we can squeeze 30 weeks out before regrinding the roller, then the cost to repair goes down to only $1,000 per week. At this point, you can see the clear motivation for management to postpone regrinding as long as possible. Yet, we will show in the very next slide that this is clearly not in their best interest or the best interest of the customer or the best interest of the business. The next concept is probably intuitive, though you may not have considered it as thoroughly as it deserves. That is, there are very real costs to not repair. What are these? Well, they are the very real costs of internally rejected waste, unplanned downs when it becomes obvious the roller is no good anymore, and Increase customer complaint as the roller degrades the web quality and the QA system is not entirely perfect in preventing quality problems from reaching the customer. All three of these elements will increase as a function of time and service. As we noted in the last clip in this series, the bathtub curve without infant mortality shows an ever-increasing level of trouble. It is important to know that the rate and cost of trouble need not be zero, even when the part is brand new, for two reasons. First, a brand new roll may not be perfect enough as the web judges it, even if it's the best the industry can do. Second, there are often multiple causes for the same defect. Thus, we have the aggregate cost curve as a function of time as shown here. Only when we sum the cost to repair and the cost to not repair as a function of time and service can we get an economically sensible answer. There is only one time that is the best time to change that roller. That is when it will cost the company the least amount of money. That when is at the minima of the total cost to repair and not repair. If you replace the roller earlier, you cost the company more money. If you replace the roller too late, you cost the company more money. This time, 
due to ever-increasing levels of waste, delay, and customer complaint. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical video series. Stay tuned for the next clip where we will show how to do the hardest part of this analysis. That is, how to get the cost to not repair.